How did you get into teaching elementary school music, and was it the first choice uh, for your full time gig? And or like, did you picture yourself as a middle or high school band director or touring musician? I was a gonna be a senior um, at VCU studying music ed, and uh, that cat we were just talking about, Alvin Walker. He was playing trombone um, for the Carnival Cruise Lines at that mm. time. And it was like a steady summer gig for him. Like every summer he would go and spend a couple months on the ship just playing. Well, he it was like toward the end of the semester and he was um, gearing up to go. And then something happened where he had like some kind of family emergency and he couldn't he couldn't do the gig. And mm-hmm. so he called the people at Carnival and he said, hey, I've got a guy who could do this gig, like, sight unseen. You wouldn't even have to audition. His name's Paul. He's, you know, a good guy, da-da-da. Um, would you want him? And they said, yeah, at this late moment, you know, late notice, we got we to gotta have somebody, so we'll hire him. So it was like I had the job, you know. And then, so he told me that. And then, like, the next day, I get a message from Dr. Gerard. So Sandra Gerard, she was uh, head of the music ed program at that time. So she calls me into her office, and she goes, hey, I got a call from uh, West Hampton Day School, which is a, a, like a daycare in Richmond, and they're looking for a music teacher for the summer. Oh, wow. And yeah. so that's – and, and they'll – you know, they want to interview you and, and all that. So I was like, man, what do I do? I got the cruise gig. Which yeah. seemed like awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I then I have this like teaching opportunity for like elementary kids. Now at that time, I want to say I was definitely more on track to be like a high school band director. Like that's what I wanted to do because that was really my influence. And you know, I was all about marching band and you know designing drills and marching you know shows and that kind of that kind of thinking, you know. And so I thought about it for a couple of days, and I turned the cruise gig down, believe it or not, and took the teaching job. So I stayed in Richmond and uh, showed up at this daycare. They had, like, nothing. I mean, it was a room with, like, it was just four walls and a carpet, and that was my room. And I was like, are there any instruments or anything? And they were like, no, there's, like, nothing. (laughs) So I was like, okay, I got to make this work. So... I went out and bought a guitar. It was my very first guitar. Um, and I, like, learned a D chord. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right. That's I know the way D to do chord. it. <laughs> and so the first kids came in. They were, like, the three-year-olds, you know? Yeah. And it was, like, ten, ten little three-year-olds. And so we sat on the floor, and I, I did literally it was, like, the itsy bitsy spider just on a decor you know? <laughs> yeah and that was like day one you know and, and it went well you know i was like oh that, yeah. this is cool and so um you know every day i was like one step ahead of the kids i was like learning chords like as they were coming in you know and we're just doing different things we were like you know clicking sticks together and i didn't know what i was doing i hadn't even i didn't I hadn't student taught yet you know i hadn't really done any kind of practicum teaching nothing and so I was completely making it up, flying by the seat of my pants, so to speak. And um, when I, after I worked with that age group, I was like, oh, this, these kids are really cool, this elementary um, age. And that kind of put the bug in my head, like, maybe that would be fun to do. And then I did my student teaching. Um, I student taught with, uh, actually, with, Tom, with Tommy Anderson at Glen Allen Elementary. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was my first student teaching. Wow. Yeah. I have to yeah. talk I have to ring him up and tell him that. That's pretty amazing, man. He's he's a hero amongst all heroes when it comes to that gig. He's awesome. I mean, yeah. He's you know Trump fellow trombone player and mm-hmm. all that stuff. So um yeah, we we really hit it off and um so I student taught there for eight weeks and then my second placement was with Ron Simmons at Lee Davis High School. Uh-huh. And had that experience and then you know, I was kind of like, I think I like the elementary better than high school, and that's where I ended up. 